morning everyone it is Monday December 2nd and I am getting ready to head back in after a long long fantastic four-day weekend um, I am just taking it slow this morning I've opened up my advents and I'm going to put just a smidgen of work in on them before I head into the office and catch up on a couple of vlogmases that I missed from last night um, Cat Sandwich Fibers opened up day two, got it all caked up. It's beautiful. It'll go super awesome with yesterday's. And then this has stolen my heart. This is uh, my Sweet Sparrow Yarns, and it is on her Yak base, which is the Owl base, I think. Um, there is a card with the colorway name and the base, so I will be sure to put that below uh, once I edit this. but. This yak is so amazing. So I'm real stoked about that. And then I've got my fiber ready to get all prepped and wind onto the bobbin. I'm hoping to get half of it done before I have to leave to head into the office. So here we go, wish me luck. Here's the progress I put in on my fly true blanket yesterday. So this was Cat Sandwich Fibers day one. And this is a wonderful pattern by Melissa Alexander Loomis or Ski Nanigans. I will link it down below. This progress keeper came from MJ as well. So that's super cute. Um, but yeah, so that's one full mini from Cat Sandwich yesterday. So this will be added to it today. And then I started adding my day one of Sweet Sparrow Yarns into my Northeasterly blanket, which is also a pattern by Melissa Alexander Loomis. Um, and this was her advent pattern from last year. So I have been working on this quite a bit on and off through the this last year. These are all minis that I received as part of the sock yarn swappers. The majority of them are Suburban Stitcher. Um, there are a couple Leading Men Fiber Arts colorways in there, but this one was my skein from Julia Sweet Sparrow Yarns yesterday. So I just <clears throat> have a little bit left to add in there and then I will be tossing in this beautiful yak color. Um, but yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I know I've switched up my ideas for uh, what patterns Advent Kitty. Mm, no, that's my stuff. You can't have it. She's such a turd. Hey, nope. Oh, she wants my, <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I'm sorry you're cute, but no, you can't have my knitting. Oh my gosh, the kitten is in full force. Anyway, um, I switched up my ideas quite a bit as far as Advent knitting goes, but I forgot that <laughs> Stop, you're snagging it. Quit it. Don't make me get the spray bottle. Silly girl. Um, yes, I forgot that the Sweet Sparrow yarns were only 10 grams, so I wasn't able to um, do the pattern that I was originally hoping for, which is fine. I probably could have modified it, but I don't want to have to use my brain space for that. So it shall go into my Northeasterly. Oh my goodness. Why are you even up here on my table? Oh, she is ornery this morning. <laughs> this might be a problem. I might not get anything done this morning. No good. Jazzy. So we just hung up the Christmas lights and the last fun thing we're gonna do today a little later is to She's bottle gonna be our cider. We about three weeks ago picked the rest of our Maybe apples. We shall get distracted by Tommy vlogging. We pressed them. We got we filled up a fifty gallon trash <laughs> can of apples and got five or six gallons of apple juice. No. And we put Five gallons of it and a five it's a good thing she's so cute because she's such a turd. Off to 
to the office. home from work and um, I'm just sitting here caking up um, the first two skeins or the first two minis from the Lofty Loops advent calendar um, along with some drift mohair which is uh, just a white mohair because I fought it and fought it and I think I am going to cast on A Dust of Snow by Helen Stewart. Um, plus it will make a really beautiful um, sample if I ever want to hang it up in my booths for shows. Um, and yeah, I just think it'll be really fun since I'm doing two scrappy blankets. Um, I was really feeling the urge to cast on something wearable um, or an accessory of sorts. So I think that's going to happen. Um, I did get all my spinning done for today, um, the wool fiend fiber uh, spinners advent so that is all done and um, I have not yet knit done any advent knitting um, so I've, I've already assumed I was going to fall way behind in advent knitting just because work consumes so much of my day um, and unfortunately it's not a job that I can sit and knit at really so um, yeah I just have the evenings so that's fine I will use the weekends to catch back up and if I don't get caught up, um, I'll just enjoy the process of adding those to my scrappy blankets, my fly true, and my northeasterly. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna call it a night. My arm is killing me. What a workout. The mohair, which is drift, um, which is just a natural, whoop, natural mohair base. Look at the fluff. And then this is day one of the Lofty Loops Yarns Advent Calendar. This colorway is called um, Gather. So it's this really pretty olivey deep green with some really subtle speckling in there. Um, it's going to be a really pretty colorway to knit up. And then this was today, December 2nd, and this is Cherry Cordial. So again, just a really pretty, almost tonal with loads of speckles, which you can't see because it's all caked up. So those two together are going to be really pretty along with that mohair. And I'm really excited about it. Thank you. 